Okay, so we saw that chaos in India, long winding queues at banks, but still PM Modi remains confident. Yeah, this chaos is still continuing given that cash crunch we're seeing on the streets. And Modi, he's holding steadfast to his plan uh, to step out tax evasion and graft as well to move India to a cashless society. Uh, he's saying that the country will see the benefits soon, and he reminded the nation that when he announced that shock demonetization on November 8th, that it would take at least 50 days to see it through. Now, recall that holders of the banned 500,000 rupee notes, they have until December 30th to exchange them for fresh notes. Now, Modi also warning on Sunday not to use the poor and new post office bank account to recycle the black money in the system. Now, we're about halfway through this transition period, and about 86% of notes are out of circulation. This is presenting a problem, as you rightly pointed out, long queues that we're seeing. ATMs, they're running out of smaller bills, and these cash payments that traditionally are useful, they're no longer the way to go. Now, unused cash flooding the banking system. We do have Indian banks holdings of deposits now at about $75 billion. This has prompted the RBI then on November 26 to introduce temporary measures to manage this excess liquidity. Okay, but Sophie, what are these temporary measures? So the RBI introduced incremental cash reserve ratio. This means that lenders have to set aside more deposits as reserves. They will likely be reviewing this decision on December 9th or potentially earlier. Now, there is concern here that the rise in banking liquidity will stoke inflation and harm financial stability in India's $2 trillion economy. Now, some are calling the RBI's move harsh, and we're expecting a reaction in bonds. And the benchmark 10-year yield, that's plunged 56 basis points this month set for the biggest drop since april 2009 now we're yet to grasp the political and economic impact of the shock demonetization so it remains to be seen but modi certainly confident here that 